Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight, tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 1, lesson number 7, and tonight we are rounding a given decimal to any place using our place value understanding and a vertical number line. So we're going to do a couple of problems tonight. Some of them have multiple parts, so that's why I'm only going to do a couple. Um, but this should get you going in your homework and get you on your way. So let's take a look at the first one. Problem number 1, I'm, I'm going to leave for you. Problem number 2 asks us to round this number. 225 and 286 thousandths. We're going to round that to hundredths, we're going to round that to ones, and we're going to round that to tens. And as you'll recall from today's work, the first thing that we're going to do, they provided a little bit of a, a place value chart over here. We're going to break down our number over here into these various units to, to help us figure out when we need to move our, um, ourselves up or down based on our place value. So when we look at a number like 225 and we look over here and we say, oh, but they only have tens, they don't have any hundreds, ah, we'll have to remember that this in fact is the same as 22 tens, right? 22 tens. Awesome. I think I need a thicker pen here. Hang on a sec. I'll go let's see how that works. 22 tens. That's better. Oh, and then we've got five ones right there, right? Five ones. Okay. Five ones. Let me switch to a pen. Five ones. Let's see, how many tenths do we have? Oh, we have two tenths, and then eight hundredths, and then six thousandths. Okay, fair enough. Now, uh, the smallest unit that we're going to need to to work with is looks like it's going to be hundredths. So let's just step through the process that they use to help us figure out what units we're working with. So we can combine the 22 and the 5 here. We can we can basically uh, we can basically decompose our 22 tens into 220 ones plus our 5 ones. So we can say this is the same as 225 ones, right? Uh, and along with two tenths eight hundredths and six thousandths, and we could do that further. We could uh, take all these 225 ones and decompose those into tenths. That would give us 2,252 2, tenths, eight hundredths, six thousandths, and really we could do it one more try. We could, if it'll help us out, let's see, we can make this into 22,528 hundredths and six thousandths. And that is, in fact, the smallest unit we're going to work with. So we can think about this, about this problem here, the hundredths. We can think about it as saying, well, we know that we have at least 22,528 thousandths. I'm sorry, hundredths. So we might have 22,529 hundredths. And in between those two, let's see, we're going to have 22,528 and then five of the next smaller unit, right? So five thousandths, so let's put that there. Excellent, five thousandths. I should say we should, we should have here, we're, we're working in hundreds. I'm gonna put a little H there to help us remember that. Okay, um, so the question is, is this number above or below this midpoint? And it looks like 22,528 hundredths and six thousandths would be somewhere right up here, right? And that means that this is the closer number, that our closer value is 225 and 29 hundredths. We're closer to that value than we are to this value. Similarly, when we look at ones, if we look at ones, it's a lot simpler, right? We have 225 ones here. This will make it a lot less messy. It's either going to be 225 ones or one more than that, 226 ones. And when we look one place value to the right and make that five, that's tenths. So is it going to be 225.5? That's gonna be our midpoint, right? Five tenths. And again, we have to look at our number here and say, hey, uh, here, I better just do that with a highlighter. 22.28 is gonna be smaller than 20, uh, I'm sorry, 225.286 is gonna be smaller than 225.5. It's gonna be somewhere down here, and thus 225 it's going to be closer to 225. Now, finally, we, have, we are asked to estimate to the nearest tens, and that may be here, right? We have 22 tens. We have at least 22 tens there, at least 22 tens, 22 tens, or it might be 23 tens. And let's see, the, the midpoint would be 22 tens plus 5 of the next smaller unit. So, oh, oh 225. Awesome. And now our question is, is this number above or below 225? And we know it's 225 and a little bit more, so we know it's got to be somewhere up here. 
and that tells us that 23 tens, or 230, is our estimation to the tens unit. Okay, you'll remember um, a lot of these vertical number lines from fourth grade. We've worked with them a fair bit, and we did those in a little bit in third grade too. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, and this is the first time we've used them here in fifth grade, so you know if it takes a little bit of time to get used to them, don't worry about it, you'll get there. All right, let's take a look at one more problem. Problem number four is a two-part problem. We're gonna use our read, draw, and write strategy, and let's read first. On a Major League Baseball diamond, the distance from the pitcher's mound to home plate is 18.386, so 18 and 386 thousandths meters. Round this number to the nearest hundredth of a meter. Use a number line to show your work. Okay, so the, the hundredth place would be where this eight is, right? So we know, if we do a quick little number line, right, we know that 18.38, 38 hundredths, it's going to be at least that. It might be 18.39, 39 hundredths, or it might be 18 and 38 hundredths. And in the midpoint, we have 18 and 38 hundredths plus 5 of the next unit, so 18.385. And when we look at our number, 18.386, we can tell that that's a little bit north, a little bit higher than 18.385. And thus, we can say uh, that we that 18.38, I'm sorry, 18.39 would be our answer. So 18.39 is our estimate to the hundredth. Excellent. Read, draw, write. Awesome. We've got a second B part here. How many centimeters is it from the pitcher's mound to home plate? Well, let's see. So this is in meters. Let's see. If we're going to go from meters to centimeters, our units are going to get smaller. Smaller by, let's see, 100 times or two place values. So that means our numbers are going to get larger by 100 times or two place values. So I think what that means is that every value here is going to need to move out two place values to the right. So our tens are going to become thousands, our ones are going to become hundreds, our tenths are going to become tens, our hundredths are going to become ones, oh, 1839 centimeters is the distance from the mound to home plate. So we knew that we started with meters, 18 and 39 hundredths meters, and we knew we wanted to express that in centimeters. We knew the units were getting smaller by 10 to the second power. So the number had to be getting larger by 10 to the second power. And 18.39 times 10 to the second power is to say, we're gonna move every place value, every digit, two place values to the left and end up with 1839 centimeters. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.